CLR. Paul, uh, new season, new start. What was the summer like? Much work done on and off the pitch? Yeah, the boys are back six weeks now. They're back trend after having five pre-seasons. The one, two, lost one and drew two. They had a great result there last week. Played great yard day team. Got two all draw of them. Played very well. We were delighted with that. So everything is going the right direction for us at the minute, yeah. Hard to get practice matches against some of the top teams, is it? Or, or it's good to have a crack at them as well? No, they're very obliging now, in fairness. All the big teams, even the teams out of the county, very obliging. No problem at all getting friendlies. Um, how are you for personnel this year? We have 22 signed up at the A team at the minute, with other players coming in. So we're looking very strong with our A team this year. We'd be hoping maybe go all the way this year, push all the way. We went very close last year. And so we're hoping all the way this year now, all going to plan. Did him high. Yeah, That's it. Absolutely. Any players in or out? Yeah, we lost one or two very good players, very or very good players that the club we lost, but due to circumstances can't commit anymore. We're after again in three or four very, very good players and all top secret at the minute. We'll unleash them when the time comes. <laughs> There's a lot of tight lips in here tonight, yeah, lads. Yeah. It's like getting blood from a stone. But we have a lot of change this year in the club. We have no management coming in this year. So it was exciting times ahead with the management. We have a young management staff there this year. We have Michael Salter. He's only 30. You wouldn't be asking me him his first cousin. 30, <laughs> 33. And we have Mark Welch, which would be 39. So very exciting times ahead for the club, thank God. Yeah, And we're doing a lot of work off the pitch, trying to upgrade the facilities. Because at the minute, the club is not geared to facilitate underage. But we're working very hard now on funding and all that. So hopefully in the next couple of years, you'll see big changes at Killery Celtic on and off the pitch. This man is at the centre of it all. Yeah. Oh yeah, I wish I was. <laughs> it was a lot easier said than done. A lot of work in the club, like there is. No matter even to training and stuff, getting numbers down, training and stuff with work commitments of people and everything. Like lads are on shift work, so to be there one week, might be there the next week. So you tight for numbers there in one week, like it's still fun, but you just keep your head down, and you do it. Look what we got last year, like yeah, absolutely. What right is off anyway? That's one thing. New huge competition with GA clubs or anything? Oh, yeah, you wouldn't anyway. I just played the soccer. <laughs> I was injured most of the time, but sure, I just try. <laughs> that's it. I don't know, but that's it. There's a good old structure there. You, you have a clear plan, you know what you're aiming for. Oh, we do, yeah. We'll always work hard, anyway. One of the hardest working clubs in the county, like. So, we want to keep that going, like the way we were last year. To be no doubt, we'll definitely reach a cup final and be there for the league as well. Is it hard to get the youngsters into the juveniles? It is when the facilities aren't there, like, it is, like, we have a women's team there and all, and they're there every week as well, like, they're putting in the effort like everyone else. We can't begrudge them for not trying or anything like that, because they do. See, unfortunately, we're in a small town, and it's hard to get young kids now to come down. As not even the kids, it's hard to get the commitment from the parents to drive them around on a Saturday. It's just a lot, a lot of effort. Now we are going to try and get juveniles going stronger. We had a juvenile team years ago, but it didn't work out. So our aim is to get a youth team in, get underage, get another women's team going. We have the over 35s. So everything is there. It's just to get the proper structure in the place, get the proper people behind us, and we'll go from there then. It's like a chicken and an egg situation, yeah, isn't it, with, oh, with yeah. facilities? Yeah. yeah, so that's our biggest problem is we have a pitch down there. We have it on a 33-year lease. We don't own it. And we're in the process of trying to, and once we can get the grounds, then we can start kicking on. Now we have a lot of our plans for this year, and hopefully if it comes this year, it'll be massive upgrades on the pitch down there. We have, I'd say, personally, one of the best pitches in Carlo. Never bogs, never get floods. It's always good playing surface, always well looked after. So that way we're very good. It's just they call it our own, and then we can really, like we're going away in year, and we're after winning umpteen cups, got promoted, won leagues, got betting finals. We reached the quarterfinals in the Leicester Junior Cup there a couple of years ago. So player-wise, we are very good. It's just to get their facilities up to scratch and be no stopping us then, I think. That's it. It takes yeah. a lot of hard work as well. And then yeah. we've seen the flip side of it. There's three clubs gone from Carlo this year. Yeah, and they had very good facilities. They had everything for them. It's just it's the way it goes. It's, it's very hard financially to keep a club going. The cost of running a soccer club, like people think, oh, it's the cost of running a soccer club is unreal. Even down to a ball, like an FAI-approved ball is 50 quid. You know, mate, the cost is phenomenal. Like, but there's good support out there. And the Carroll League do give us the support in fairness to them. They try their best. And all we can do then is do what we do on the pitch and we'll get rewarded at the end of the season, guaranteed this year. Yeah. There's a lot of value in people's time as well, uh, yeah, dedicated to the club. We have a 14-person committee there. We have a new secretary that's coming on this year, Jenny Cross. She's outstanding. We have Amory Mont there, our club secretary. She's with us since day one, since the club started, same as me. 
and then we have our committee there, it's a very hard working committee, we do a lot of fundraising, we sell our local GA tickets, we do spot the balls, we do last man standings and every penny literally counts for us, every single penny and every penny we make is spent on the club. KCLR.